Okay, let's get started with the urinary and digestive system lab. This is the dissection of the urinary and digestive system lab. We're going to cover the digestive system first. So, we're using the cat, as I've already shown you, as well as the sheep kidneys. Okay? Alright, so let's do the mouth. Mouth is your first one here. Let me get it in focus. There we go. So here's your mouth, obviously. And then we can see the incisors, which are right here. Here are your incisors. Let me make that clear. Yeah, there's your incisors. It's better. And then your canines here. Let me show you the molars. So molars you can see right there. Okay. Tongue. Here's the tongue. Now, let me get that in focus. Now, you'll notice that you have papillae. Well, I had it in focus. You'll notice that you have papillae right here. And these are going to be associated with grooming. So when a cat licks itself, uh, it's going to be associated with grooming. Now, we have also on the tongue, this is called the lingual frenulum. So, right here is your lingual frenulum. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And we have the hard palate. So here's the hard palate. This is your maxilla bone, the hard palate. Again, we have the incisors, canines, and molars. So here's your hard palate. Right here it's soft, and that's the soft palate. Okay. Now, we have the palatine rugi right here. You see, you'll see these little um, tiny, uh, not grooves, but uh, points sticking up. Uh, that's your palatine rugi right here. Palatine rugi. Okay, uh, we have the nasal pharynx. So you have three regions of the pharynx. So let's do the oral pharynx first. So the oral pharynx is right here. All this right here is your oral pharynx where the probe is circling. So that's your oral pharynx. This right here is your laryngeal pharynx. And this right here, I'm going to gross some of you out. I always do gross people out with this. So we'll stick this probe up the nose and you'll see where it's going to come out. Well, I won't do that. Right in here, uh, I've cut this along the soft palate and the hard palate. So all this underneath here will be your nasal pharynx. All this underneath here and you can uh, stick the probe through the nares here and let's see if I can feel it coming out. Oh, here we go. Okay, you can see it move, can't you? So all that uh, from the external nares all the way into the uh, nasal cavity, uh, that would be your nasal pharynx where my finger is. Okay? So, nasal pharynx in this area here, and then your oral pharynx, and then your laryngeal pharynx. So, I think I need to do that again. So, nasal pharynx, oral pharynx, and then your laryngeal pharynx. Okay, let's move on. We have the 
epiglottis. So epiglottis is a unique structure. So if you look right here, well, where you can see here. So I had to cut through the mandible and I cut through some muscle as well and that's what you're seeing there. Now this structure right here, that's the epiglottis. The epiglottis is going to be this structure, well, sorry, it's going to be this structure that's going to flop down over the trachea during swallowing. And let me put this head out here. So you can see the epiglottis right here. Now, I want to show you something else here. Set this down temporarily. Uh, you will see this is the glottis. This is your, sorry, this is your epiglottis right here. Now, this structure right here where I'm sticking the probe up, I can get it up there. Now, well, come on. Now, so that's the glottis right there where I'm uh, going down into the trachea. And I can't get it out, can I? So, right here. So, hopefully you can see the glottis. I can. Yeah, right there is your glottis. I don't know if I can move some stuff. Right there is your glottis. Epiglottis. Okay, I think we're good. Now, uh, let's move on to the next thing here. Uh, we have the false and true vocal folds. I'm going to show you on another cat. So, this is your trachea right here. So, this is your trachea. Now, I opened up the trachea some, and you can see right here. Well, let me widen this up here. That's your false and true vocal folds right there. Now, let's talk about this right here. So here's your trachea. And then posterior to your trachea, you have your esophagus. So here's your esophagus right here. Your esophagus is right here posterior to the trachea. Okay? Hopefully you can see that. Now, we have the... Yeah. So I'll just say it again. So, in case I made a mistake. Trachea. And then... Esophagus. Go back to this cat here. So remember, we have your maxilla bone and then your mandible bone right here. And then right here, we have the trachea. Don't mean to repeat myself. But here's your trachea, as we see here. And then we see right here, well, let me get this out here. Here's your esophagus. Let me get my finger around it. Fingers around it. Okay, so here's your esophagus right here. Posterior to your tr trachea. Okay, now we're going to follow the trachea. Sorry, we're going to follow the esophagus. So here's your esophagus right here again. This is your trachea. We're going to follow the esophagus right here. We can see it again in your thoracic cavity. This structure right here 
is the descending aorta. And we see right here So, esophagus, and then you have your cardiac orifice right here. So, a cardiac orifice would be in this section right here. This is your fundus of stomach. This is your fundus of stomach. Okay? Now, uh, since we're on the stomach now, we're going to do some things with the stomach. So, esophagus, cardiac orifice, and then you have your fundus. This right here is your greater curvature. And then you have your lesser curvature. Now, this structure right here, some of you would say it was disgusting, but uh, this is the greater omentum. It's going to hang down like an apron. Uh, and it's going to go along uh, this greater curvature. So, this greater omentum here. And then you have your lesser omentum. You really can't see it, uh, but it's going to be associated with the lesser curvature. Okay? I think we're good. Now, let's repeat the parts of the stomach again. What is this? Your esophagus. Cardiac orifice would be in this area here if you cut it open and let's not cut it open uh, we have the fundus body of stomach would be this whole area here greater curvature lesser curvature and then you have your uh, pylorus or pyloric region you're going to have a sphincter in this area here you're going to have a sphincter in this area here so let me start pushing this stuff out of the way. So we have the pylor pyloric region or pylorus. Uh, it'd be a hardened place right, right, in, right in here where, where my thumb is. It would be a hardened place in here where my thumb is. Uh, okay. And let's see. We have the duodenum next. Here's your duodenum where my thumb is. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you something you've already seen before, which is the pancreas. Uh, pancreas looks like cottage cheese. So here is your pancreas right here. Remove this greater momentum out of the way. So here is your pancreas right here. Okay? So right here you have your duodenum. Okay? Um, we have a duct associated with the pancreas, which you're not going to be able to see, but you can see a little bit right here. Here's a duct that's going to uh, feed into the duodenum right here. You're also going to have another duct, uh, and it's called the common bowel duct. So let me, it might take a little bit to get this stuff out of the way here. So I apologize if I'm making you dizzy. So we have the liver. So here is your liver right here. The liver is right here. Now, uh, we have multiple lobes associated with the liver. And this structure right here, which is going to separate your right median lobe right here from your left median lobe that's the falciform ligament falciform ligament and then you have your right lateral sorry I didn't have it on there did I right lateral and then your left lateral and then your caudate lobe right here it would be like right in here as well. So this would be your caudate lobe here. Right there. Gallbladder right here is going to be on the inferior surface of the liver. 
So let me show you those again. So, eh, sorry about this. Uh, so you have your falciform ligament right there. You have your right median and in your left median, left lateral, right lateral, and then your caudate lobe. What is this? It's a green colored structure called the gallbladder. Okay, and then the cystic duct is going to be this structure right here. I mean, it's moving on me. Right in there is your cystic duct. And then you have your common bile duct. Let me pick, pick it up. Right there is your common bile duct. And as I've already mentioned, as I've already mentioned, you have your common bile duct as well as the pancreatic duct, which is right here. That's not a good view. You've seen this before, I've showed you. Right in there is going into your duodenum right here. So here's your duodenum. Okay, and remember this is your stomach right there, your stomach. This is your pylorus, this is your duodenum. Okay, now let's look at some more structures here. Let's look at some more structures. Let me get everything oriented right and then we'll proceed from there where I want it. Okay? Now, what is this structure right here? This is your hepatic portal system here. Yellow. Remember yellow. Remember doing your uh, superior mesenteric vein as well as your gastrosplenic vein. So all of those were yellow colored. So this is your uh, hepatic part of your hepatic portal system. So this would be your um, hepatic portal vein. Hepatic portal vein right there. Now this red structure would be your common hepatic artery. Very important that you know those two structures. So let me put the probe. So, you should be very familiar with these two. It's fading on me. Will it adjust? No, it's not getting any better. Okay, that's a little bit small, but yeah, here we go. Hopefully you can see that. And let's see what else. We've already done gallbladder. Uh, remember, uh, this is your celiac trunk right here. Gastrosplenic artery. Right there. This is your spleen superior mesenteric artery and we can see the hepatic portal system well I had it right here this yellow hepatic portal system I have it on another cat better so remember right here this is your Gastrosplenic artery, the red one, gastrosplenic vein, superior mesenteric uh, vein right here. And remember that your inferior mesenteric vein didn't show very well. This is a real good picture showing you the pancreas. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's see. 
So all you have to do now is we'll go through the intestines. So right here, remember, this is your greater omentum. Uh, so this right here is your duodenum. And then you can see uh, the first part of your duodenum is going to be your jejunum. Uh, so we'll just cheat and go to, to the colon. We'll find the first part of your colon. So right here, uh, where my hand is, where my thumb is, excuse me, this is the cecum. This is the cecum. Right here. Is this a cecum? Uh, and then this would be the distal part. This structure right here would be the distal part of your ilium. Okay, I forgot to show you this. This clear looking stuff here, this is mesentery. This is mesentery. Mesentery right here. That clear stuff. Um, let me show you the colon. So, it's really simple. So, right here, we see the cecum. And we'll just say right here, this stuff is slippery. Ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon. And then when you go down in here, this would be the rectum. So let me do that again, if you didn't see. Let me find a chair here, my back is hurting. Okay, so, what is this? This is your cecum. This is your ascending colon. Transverse, descending. Sigmoid going down right through here. And then further down would be your, what? Rectum. Okay. Um, I think we're good on that. Let me show you this right here. So, what is this structure right here? You should say kidney. Right? Uh, this is sort of messy because it was embedded in fat. Uh, when you think about your kidneys, they're going to be surrounded by fat, surrounded and protected by fat. So right here, kidney, right kidney. Let's open it up. You will see that you have the cortex region here. Let me zoom in. And it just don't get no better, does it? Yeah. So your cortex is right here. Medulla is right here. And then pelvis would be right there. And let me find a better one. Let's see if this one's better. Yeah, I can work with that one. So, again, kidney. This is the ah, renal artery. Right here. Renal vein, right here. And then your ureter is right here. And it's going to connect to the urinary bladder. And this is the urethra. So, kidney. This is the renal artery. Renal vein. Ureter, bladder, 
and urethra. Okay, we got another thing to do and hopefully my battery won't run down before it's done. One more thing, real quick. And uh, this is the sheep kidney. So, remember, remember that you have capsule uh, that's going to uh, cover the uh, kidney. And of course, remember that there's lots of fat around the kidney for protection. And uh, we've already done renal artery, renal vein, ureter, good. Yeah, we've done all that stuff. Uh, right here, we have the cortex. Here's your cortex here, as I've shown you on the models. Now, where you see the pyramids, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, those are all your pyramids. Uh, that's all associated with the medulla. And in between the pyramids, you have the columns. In between the pyramids, you have the columns. And then you have the pelvis right here. So let me go over that again. Cortex, for you to review. Medulla, okay. And then your uh, pyramid here, here, here. Papilla pyramid. I forgot some things here. Uh, you have your minor calyx right in here. Major calyx would be right here. And then the pelvis. And I think that's it. And uh, we will... Stop it there.